Are you looking to get more subscribers but don't want to spend a lot of money on a microphone? Are you looking to reduce the noise from your surrounding? Are you looking for a simple plug and play microphone? Well, I have found a microphone that could help you to achieve all that. But before buying any microphone, you need to first understand the difference between a super cardioid microphone and an omnidirectional microphone. It's simply about the direction at which the microphone is listening. So, for example, an omnidirectional microphone listens from all sides. That is, it doesn't matter how you're holding the microphone. Examples of omnidirectional microphones are built-in microphones in phones, cameras, and lavalier microphones. They work well in quiet places or if you hold them very close to yourself. And it doesn't matter how you're holding it, whether it's from the front or the back. However, the LensGo microphone is a super cardioid microphone, which means you'll have to point the microphone towards yourself. And it only listens from one direction and eliminates noise from the surrounding. It's a great microphone for video logs and interviews. Different parts of this video was recorded by using different microphones. The best way to check the quality of a microphone is by comparing its audio quality against other microphones. Different parts of this video was recorded by using different microphones. The best way to check the quality of a microphone is by comparing its audio quality against other microphones. The distance between the microphone and where I'm talking from is approximately, let's measure, 1.4 meters. Disclaimer, this microphone was sent to me for free for a review, but I wasn't paid for making the video. In this video, I will show you what you will get in the box. Set up the microphone for a DSLR camera and also a phone. Test the microphone, sound quality, outdoors, tips on troubleshooting interferences, and making the conclusions and the cost while using the microphone indoors. So what comes in the box? We got the microphone itself. The microphone inside is made up of aluminum, so it's sturdy and robust. The total length of the microphone is 143.5 mm. The diameter in the front is 14 mm and the diameter in the back is 22 mm. So the microphone itself doesn't have any buttons on it and it's just a simple plug and play type of microphone. And then we have TRS to TRS cable where you can connect your DSLR camera, camcorder or any other camera that has TRS 3.5 millimeter jack and then we have TRRS to TRS cable which you can use to connect to your smartphone it's also 3.5 millimeter also bear in mind that for connecting it to your iPhone latest models you would need an adapter and then we have this beautiful furry wind screen it's not just for beauty, but you put it on the microphone and then it will help you to reduce the wind noise when you're filming. But I also suggest you to have it on all the time and it will still record in the places where there is no wind and it still will be useful. And then we have this unique shock mount which you can put the microphone on and then put the microphone on top of a DSLR camera. This will protect your microphone from shocks and vibrations. Vibration is one of the sources of noise that could be captured. And then we have this nice, big, comfortable storage bag. So you can put all your equipments in this storage bag and it will fit perfectly. And it even has more space to add more stuff. So I put all the things that I described into this bag and it works well. Now if you would turn the microphone to the front, you can see an aluminum mesh. It is precisely engineered using CNC machine so that it will capture the best possible sound from the direction where it is pointing at. So to mount the shock mount, 
onto the microphone you have to observe that on here we can see some grooves and the shock mount goes right from the top into this groove there is enough flexibility to open it wide enough so to put the windscreen just slide the microphone into the windscreen and there it goes mounting it to a tripod is really simple so this is a tripod we got and it, now if you look at the bottom of the shock mount you can see a hole put a hole into the screw and then turn a few times and now we have fitted the microphone onto a tripod so to connect the microphone to the phone what we need to do is to connect the red end to the back end of the microphone and the black end which is a straight side to your microphone port this is also the place where you put your headphones so you go there 3.5 millimeter and now we have connected our microphone to our phone and it's ready to record with a better quality now you can even use this for conference calls if you are calling through whatsapp or zoom you can connect this microphone and then you would be able to talk with a better quality audio a quick glance at the box this is the front of the box so to mount the microphone you can see that the bottom we got a square and we got a shoe mount here on our DSLR camera so all you need to do is just simply slide the square inside and it goes fits there and then we have a knob that you can just turn around clockwise direction to make it tight and now it's tight and secure it's not gonna fall off so now take your camera cable put one end to the back end of the microphone make sure it's tight on the side of your camera you should see a symbol called mic open it plug this in and now we are ready to film so now I'm testing the microphone outdoor where there is some wind it's not a very windy day but it should be a good indicator whether this microphone still works as it should be when you are filming outside because that's where you want to kind of isolate away the noise and that it will be just directed to you so I got a camera on that side which shows the distance between the microphone and I so obviously the closer the distance there would be less noise from the surrounding so as I'm walking closer to the microphone my voice should become clearer and and you could see the quality of the sound as the microphone is closer to me as compared to when microphone is more far away so now I'm holding the microphone in my hand and while I'm holding I'm walking and behind is the view and you can see this magnificent view on top of a hill the wind is picking up a bit now so one more thing I have to specify about this microphone as I said it's a super cardioid microphone so the the tip of the microphone should be pointing towards your mouth or better it would be that it would be pointing on your chest and the direction then from the surrounding would be isolated i hope this test gives a good indication whether you should go for this microphone or not in addition to the test that i've done inside a house where you have a good control in controlling the noise tip you could get interferences especially if you got a lot of wires in your room the easiest and most effective way to resolve it is by unplugging and plugging again the microphone's cable also interchanging the cables connection between the microphone and the camera could help conclusion the four reasons to buy this microphone are it's cheaper than the other similar microphones its cost is roughly 45 dollars it doesn't require batteries for example my sennheiser mke 600 microphone uses battery and if you're not careful of the finishing recording there is a risk that the audio wouldn't be recorded the third reason is that it's a super cardioid microphone which helps to reduce the noise from the surroundings and the fourth reason is that it comes with all the necessary cables to start the recording right away the only downside is that you need to make sure prior to recording that there are no interferences you can watch my Sennheiser MKE 600 shotgun microphone and Rode wireless review here please write in the comments below 
why you need a new microphone and whether you noticed any differences between various microphones used in this video and also please don't forget to subscribe